I wouldn't be looking at Japan within Asia right now. I think there are better options within the region. Problems for Japan are more related to the external environment. We've got a weak dollar, and we think at Credit Suisse that the dollar is going to continue to weaken potentially for several years. That typically leads to underperformance of Japan relative to the other markets in Asia, particularly the emerging markets within Asia. Also, when you're in a rising economic environment, which we are are at present as we come out of the depths of the pandemic. Japan typically lags the other, re- the other markets in the region. Ch- China, Korea, Taiwan, India all tend to do better than Japan in this sort of environment. So I would be looking elsewhere. Right now, we've been focusing quite a bit on Korea. This has been our favorite market so far this year. Uh, there's still quite a bit of value in the market. It does tend to do well in this sort of global environment when the economy is on the upswing, given all of the cyclical stocks. Its tech sector has lagged other tech stocks in the region, and there's more upside there. They're by no means expensive, which you can't say about all the tech stocks in the region, certainly not globally. Certainly not globally these days, Dan. Um, Also, you make the point that when it comes to the health situation, the fact that COVID infection rates are lower in Asia is another reason to be more optimistic on the market in this region. And you're also bringing in perhaps the threat of vaccine disappointment. Does that suggest that you think too much optimism around the vaccines have been priced in and that could be a dent to develop to what's happening in Western markets relative to what's happening in Asia? I think we need to prepare for the potential for some disappointment in the phase three results. Things look promising, but the reason why pharmaceutical companies conduct phase three trials is because sometimes they fail, about a 20% failure rate. Uh, Most likely, given all of the vaccines that are in the pipeline, we will get something that is sufficiently effective to make a difference. Uh, But there is this tail risk factor. And I think Asian markets would hold up better than the U.S. in particular if there were disappointment on a vaccine, given that Asian countries seem to have better strategies for dealing with the pandemic that don't necessarily rely on the vaccine.